Welcome to another Tableau tutorial video. I'm Weston Palmer. Let's get started. But first, a thank you to my Patreon supporters. I love the interaction and feedback. So we wanted to go from a planned and unplanned, but we also want a third bar in here, which is the total of all of them. So it looks something like this. Planned, unplanned, and then a total. And I'm going to show you it's a little bit involved. First thing I want to do is just show you briefly the data that I'm dealing with. There's different groups, and then there's planned and unplanned types. These are going to be calculated fields in your database, and there's, I'm sure there's going to be several record of fields off to the left. This is just the calculated field of the results that we want to graph. Now I'm going to show you another table that we're going to bring in. This is called scaffolding, and it only has one field, and I've got one numbers one through five. We're only going to use numbers one through three for this exercise, but you've got one through five if you need it. Now we've come to the back to Tableau. We have the group, putting that down here at the top, and then we wanted the type, planned and unplanned. And what we really want is we want to add that third, the total. So you have three bars for each group. Coming to the multiple bar chart, now I'm gonna bring over the scaffolding. And right now this is a logistical join, and that's what we want. If we had it as a physical join, if we opened this up and added it there, that would add multiple records for each uh, value in the scaffolding. So it would multiply your number of records by 5x. We don't want to do that. We just want, this is one level of detail and tab, when it's a logistical join, Tableau knows, okay, this has got more detail, so we're gonna, gonna handle it appropriately. Now you'll notice that there's a red error message here saying, hey, how do I join them? And if you remember, or you probably don't remember, but they don't have any of the same fields. So what we're gonna do, gonna join it, we're select the field, we're gonna create a calculation join, we're going to put the number one. It could be anything, but just you're going to make it the same on both sides. Create a relationship calculation. So this doesn't even have to be a field. And now this has a join. So every record in this multiple columns bar chart is going to have a value in scaffolding of one, two, three, four, five. Now we're going to come here and you can see that it's linked. We're now going to create and I'm probably going to get this wrong first time. We'll call this uh, group type or group count. This is going to be an if then statement. So now here's where it gets tricky. If the scaffolding, right, this is equals one. Let me blow this up. So what this is saying here is if it's scaffolding number one, if the value is one, and then we're gonna to come to then, if, it, if the type is planned, we're gonna leave the type in there and we're gonna count it. We're gonna duplicate this calculation, except now we're gonna add it for two, And three except on three we're not going to have we're just going to have type and actually we're running into a problem of aggregation I was having count here but the original if statement is not using count so I need to just get rid of that and we will put it on the visual okay I need to put scaffolding scaffolding don't know why they gave me that as an option. And I know that's confusing. So if you remember, there's five values for scaffolding. So for each record, you're going to get five different options. If it's the first one, you're gonna put in just the type. If it's the second one for scaffolding, and if it's unplanned, you're gonna put the type. So it'll be 10, One's gonna be for the planned, one's gonna be for unplanned, and then third one, it's gonna be, always gonna be the type. And I know that's a little bit confusing, and let's put, we're gonna put type here, type count. 
and we're going to do actually we're going to make this we're going to count this one this is what we're going to count we're not going to do count distinct and then we're going to group the scaffolding and we actually want to make this a dimension because we're not trying to add or subtract anything so you can see here the scaffolding is one two three four five I'm going to exclude exclude four I'm going to exclude five and so now we have three columns one let's let's just put it in the dashboard here so we have planned six we have six here we have unplanned is two we've got two here and we have a total of eight same thing let's pick another one of these let's pick the 90 to 180 we have three and three so three and three for a total of six so we're just going to come here we're going to put the scaffolding and you could actually go in there and you could change the names to something else right you could change it to let's just do the aliases number one I'm going to call this planned unplanned and total and now we have planned unplanned and we also have total added in there as well I hope you'll check out these other cool videos that I've selected for you. Let me know what you think in the comments below.